He did exactly what he said he was gonna do. Thanos wiped out 50% of all living creatures. Welcome back to Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. The snap was a complete shock. Everything changed when Thanos snapped his fingers and wiped out 50% of all life in the universe. The villain won, the heroes failed, and trillions and trillions of lives just vanished in an instance. For five years, there was no hope, no way to bring back the dusted. How can anyone move past that? The snap had devastating implications on every living being in the universe. It's the sort of catastrophe that changes everything forever. But now, looking at the aftermath of the snap, and the blip for that matter, it all feels inconsequential. In hindsight, this supposedly universe-altering event is just a footnote in history, something the world has mostly moved on from pretty quickly. I already forgot about it. <laughs> what? which completely diminishes the impact of the snap. And this is a huge missed opportunity. Marvel should have done so much more with the snap and its implications on the world. It's kind of insane to me that the MCU basically refused to explore the five years in between the snap and the blip. The snap has so much story potential. This is one of the most interesting time periods in any cinematic universe, not just on Earth. Think about all the potential it has on countless civilizations in space. So we need to take a serious look at the snap, why it's such a big missed opportunity, and the story direction the MCU should have taken with it. This is a nightmare. I've had better nightmares. Now, one thing that I noticed here, oh my God, what is that smell? It is amazing. Why, thank you, that's me. But you, you never smell this good. This is like really good smells. Well, that's because now I am wearing cologne. No way, but colognes are like so confusing. There's like, like a million of them. How do you know which ones to buy? Actually, I don't. That's why I subscribe to Scentbird. They're the sponsor of this video. This is actually a great service for a guy like me because I have no idea what makes for a good cologne. And cologne is expensive, so I didn't want to drop like a lot of money on some pricey bottle. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that lets you skip any month without penalties. If you're new to wearing cologne, it is a great way to start. This one's called Aventus by House of Creed. Mm. Now, to educate me about the cologne, they also sent along a descriptive card that explains the ingredients and the proper occasion to wear the cologne. So you can both smell better and become more cosmopolitan in the process. Now, my favorite cologne is called Kinetic by Toomey, and you can see that it's actually eight times bigger than a normal sample size you get at the store. It's really nice. According to the card, it's got hints of rosemary and black pepper in there. Well, how does this whole thing work? Well, Doug, you can choose a designated fragrance every month for just $17. You get a 30-day supply, which helps you to figure out if you like a scent before committing to buying an entire bottle. Every month, you get to pick what you want to receive, so there are no surprises. And Scentbird carries major brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, as well as indie labels such as Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. This is a great way to learn about cologne and find what you like without spending hundreds of dollars on a bottle. So if you want to give Scentbird a try, use our code SCREENCRUSH and click the link in the description to get 55% off. That's just over $7 for your first month available in the US and Canada. The snap is an event that happened everywhere. It affected everyone. We are talking about 50% of all life in the universe vanishing in the blink of an eye. Just here on Earth, the snap means devastation in every way possible. Billions of lives were affected and ruined. People tend to focus on all the trillions of lives that were dusted, but it's more than just sentient beings. We're talking about animals too, trees, plants, microbes, and even viruses that are essential for the existence of life as we know it. We can't even imagine how irreversible this event would change our way of life in every possible way. I mean, think about all the cultural damage, all the people who died for real in the aftermath of the snap. We're talking about countless planes falling from the sky, killing the passengers and the people on the ground. All those people died for real. They didn't come back after the blip. And don't even get me started on all the people that probably died after trillions of lives suddenly reappeared. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. The world we see at the start of Endgame is a grim one. We see that people are in pain, unable to move forward with their lives, drowning in grief and misery. There is garbage, abandoned cars piling up in desolate streets, overgrown buildings indicating the devastating cost of Thanos' actions. And also this dog, I mean, now that I see this dog, that's sad, man. Poor puppy, waiting on its owner, no idea what's happening or if it'll ever see its owner again. I didn't feel like playing anymore. Not even with horse dog. As depressing as this abandoned dog is, the movie doesn't even come close to fully capturing the devastating scope the snap should have had on the world and on the rest of the universe. For starters, there doesn't seem to be an everlasting change that happened in those five years since the snap. We don't know much about that span of time, but World War III didn't start, civilization didn't collapse, and society didn't devolve into a Mad Max wasteland. 
But how did the world react to the snap? Was there mass hysteria? Were there wars? Did people go insane? How did society change and adapt to the sudden loss of half of all life? What did the Avengers do? What aid did they offer? What in the hell happened in those five years? We don't know. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So far, none of the Marvel projects explored that in much depth. I mean, just look at Love and Thunder. There's an early scene in the movie where Korg recaps all of the bad things that happened to Thor so far, especially all the people he lost. It seemed that everything and everyone he loved, he lost. Strangely, there is no mention of the snap in that recap. It's like Marvel is ignoring it even happening. This enormous event where Thor went for the chest instead of the head and got 50% of all life dusted, that's not big enough for a mention? Thor Love and Thunder never addressed the snap at all. In fact, they turn it into a joke with the Infinity Cones ice cream parlor, which further makes the snap feel like it was ultimately inconsequential. The MCU mostly focuses on the human cost of the snap, and that's done well for the most part. While I was gone, I lost both my cats and my brother. But no movie or show ever goes deeper than that. The only story that explored some interesting ramifications of the snap is the show Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Although the show focused on the refugee crisis post blip and not really on the crisis that was after the snap. Still, the situation with the Flag Smashers and the GRC shows the scale of this crisis and how interesting would it have been to see how the world reacted to the snap and how everyone dealt with it during those five dark years. It's such a shame that we didn't see how the snap impacted more heroes. Most of them basically share the same emotion. They're kind of sad, but they keep going. What about Wakanda? How did they react to the vanishing of their king and sister? Especially after the mini civil war they just had with Killmonger. I guess we'll find out in Wakanda forever, but I would totally watch an Okoye spinoff set after Infinity War. The Eternals presents the larger scale consequences of the snap and the blip. Thanos erased half of the population of the universe, delayed the emergence. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. But that has more to do with the Celestials and less how the snap affected the world on a more personal level. Look, I love the MCU, but I think there is a huge lack of creativity when it comes to the snap's consequences. It needed to be a huge deal, an everlasting change to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Considering all the content that Marvel's pumping out right now, it's insane that none of these movies and shows goes into the most underused story the MCU has right now. Just look at the Battle of New York. It happened in 2012, basically when the MCU was in its infancy. But Marvel still keeps coming back to it to introduce new characters and stories. It was a turning point for the world. Nothing has been the same ever since. That's what the snap should have been, but like, like a million fold. They ruin the story. They ruin the story. How does anything make sense when a purple alien can just snap his fingers and make half the population vanish? Losing loved ones to death is horrible, but how can anyone accept the disappearance of so many people? How can anyone move on with such crippling uncertainty? We found something. A chance. Maybe. Don't. Don't what? Don't give me hope. We just look at Hawkeye and how losing his family affected him, and he is one of Earth's mightiest. If an Avenger goes on a killing spree, then what hope do normal people have? Many of them will start looking for ways to cope and make sense of the fact that 50% of all life is just gone. This means that many people will look for answers in all the wrong places. See, it's not by accident that the MCU has so many cults, especially post-snap. A cult can provide a false sense of safety, a very dangerous sense of safety. Then there are all the conspiracy theorists that will show their ugly face, creating all kinds of stories about what really happened during the snap. Not to mention this. You just know that some people will start saying that Thanos was right. I can totally see some crazy cult that worships the Mad Titan, and you just know those people are trouble. Sure, not every single person on the planet is going to let their depression turn into some nihilistic worldview, but we're talking about people here. We all know what we're capable of when we lose hope. Introduce a little anarchy upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. The snap wasn't some freak cosmic accident. It wasn't an act of God. It was Thanos. So the world knows who is the culprit. The Avengers killed Thanos. They avenged the world. However, they didn't save the world. They didn't undo the snap. There is little solace in Thanos' death. It won't bring back the dust. It. Faced with this hopeless reality, people will start becoming depressed and lonely. There would be panic and anger. When people lose hope, they become hostile, irrational, and they need to blame their misfortune on someone else. And that means that people might start blaming the Avengers for the snap. The world trusted the Avengers and they failed them all. This is so much more than their previous failures in Sokovia or Lagos. This affects every single person on Earth. 
So now suddenly the Avengers are under attack by public opinion, and this could have created some great new villains. Some of the best MCU villains were born out of the Avengers' mistakes. It took me two days until I found their bodies. And the Avengers? They went home. How awesome would it be if we got another villain like Zemo, someone who blames the Avengers for the snap? Now that is a powerful motivation because the Avengers themselves suffer from guilt over the snap. So now you have a villain who represents that guilt, coming after them for failing the world. And if that villain was smart, they would manipulate public opinion against the Avengers. After all, the only people who know what truly went down in the fight with Thanos are the Avengers. After their failure, it's easy to manipulate the truth and turn it against them. Remember how Mysterio turned the world on Spider-Man? Marvel missed out so much on a potentially great villain. But the exploration of the snap and the aftermath doesn't need to be all depressing. You know, I saw a pot of whales when I was coming over the bridge. In the Hudson. There's fewer ships, cleaner water. Times of crisis cause mass panic and make people do bad things, but not always. We can see in our own world that after natural disasters, most people tend to help each other. We provide aid however we can. We care about others, not just our loved ones, but our neighbors and even complete strangers. We always find ways to work together and overcome adversity and crisis. Heroes are symbols of morality and empathy. The aftermath of the snap can be a true testament to the importance of heroes. The Avengers protect the world from alien invasions. That's a given. For the most part, that's the extent of heroism in the MCU. A bad guy threatens the world and the heroes unite to save the day. But the snap is not a bad guy you can punch. It's basically a natural disaster. Well, a cosmic unnatural catastrophe. After the snap, heroes can be the ones that bring the best out of people. Use creative problem solving to deal with this crisis. Instead of using their powers and tech as weapons, they can use them as tools to build and create, help the world overcome the crisis. It's left to us, guys. And we gotta do something with it. Otherwise, Thanos should have killed all of us. This could also have been an excellent way to introduce new heroes. Remember, 50% of all heroes were dusted as well, so there's far less heroes on Earth and in space. While there are less bad guys out there, as we established, the snap would have created a lot new bad guys. So new heroes could be born because of the snap on Earth and in the rest of the universe. I would totally watch a Disney Plus show about a character that becomes a hero during those five years. I mean, that story would be amazing. Think of all the missed potential of the cosmic side of the MCU after the snap. How did all the alien civilizations react to 50% of all life vanishing? The things that are happening on Earth are happening everywhere, on thousands of planets. The insanity that ensued in the aftermath of the snap could mean a massive space war between countless alien civilizations. After all, most aliens in the MCU basically behave like humans, so their affinity to violence and panic is pretty much the same as ours. But here's something that no one talks about. Space is a freaking massive place. So believe it or not, there are probably whole galaxies that have never heard about Thanos. Who? It's not like there's some intergalactic news feed for the whole universe. We reported the space news. Meaning that there are trillions of civilizations out there so far from the Milky Way galaxy that are completely in the dark about this. They don't know about Thanos or the snap, so they are oblivious when suddenly half their people begin to vanish. And that is a fascinating story to explore. How do these aliens react to the snap where they don't even know its source? You know what that means, right? It's a great opportunity to introduce some new space heroes, someone like Nova. This way, the MCU could explore whole new areas of the universe that we have never seen before and introduce a bunch of cool new heroes that will eventually become key players in the future. And speaking of the future, the Infinity Stones were used three times, each time changing reality, messing with the natural law of the universe. But there are no ramifications for that. We tampered with the stability of space-time to resurrect countless lives. I mean, really? With all the multiverse madness, Marvel didn't think to use this as a plot device? Why not have the snap and the blip be the reason for the multiversal madness? That's the perfect cause and effect. There must be a cost to all these events. So the snap and the blip are not just the culmination of the Infinity Saga, they would be the inciting incident that establishes the next MCU saga. At the very least, the blip could have given some people superpowers. Like, you know, activating a certain X gene in their DNA. Kamala, there's something different in your genes, like a mutation. I'm just saying, that's a cool way to introduce the mutants. Seriously, people who got dusted should have been changed in some physiological way. Not saying that everyone who got dusted should have gotten powers, but it's been established that the Infinity Stones can give people godlike powers. So why not use that to create new heroes and stories? Look, I don't want to sound like I'm hating, because I'm not, but it's still a shame that the snap was so underused. 
And the further we get from the snap, the less relevant that story becomes, especially now with the whole multiverse direction the MCU is heading in. But hopefully Marvel Studios will bring things around, like give us a Disney Plus show that takes place directly after the snap. And if not, I guess we can all just watch The Leftovers. It's basically the show that explores what would happen if part of the population just vanished. You should watch The Leftovers anyways. It's an incredible show. What is ambiguous about your family being gone? Because you lost, what, four? I lost everyone. I lost everything. So thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring us and check out our sample links below. You really do smell great. Thanks, buddy. High five. So what do you think? Did the MCU drop the ball with the snap? What stories did you think we missed out on? Let me know in the comments below where you can at me on Twitter. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe and smash that bell. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.